Before creating a schedule, you must set up your employees here on the team page. Here you enter each employee's name, job title, and email address in order to create an account for them and then invite them to connect to the system. It isn't necessary to have specific job titles and categories for each employee. You can simply have them all in one big list if you like. However, if you do wish to divide your team into job titles, you first create the job titles onto the schedule. You can see how to do that by clicking on the tutorial here on the schedule page. But once you do create job titles, this is what your schedule will look like with the employees underneath each particular job title. If you don't have any job titles, they'll simply all be listed here in one big list. So on your team page, you just go and you add the employees by clicking Add Employee. Very simple. Both their first and last name goes in the first field. All employees require at least an email address, which you enter here. Uh, if you like, you can add their phone number. The amount of hours per week per week they'll roughly be working and if you're keeping track of wages and tabulating payroll you would just enter their hourly wage there and from the drop down you can select one of the job titles you've created on the schedule page so we'll make Bill a bartender then click add employee you can add multiple employees at one time in one session so we'll create one more And then when you're finished, just click Finish. You can add employees as many as you like at any time. So once you've created them on the team page, it will then send an invitation email directly to the employee's email. And that email will look like this. Hello, Bill Robinson. We've invited you to, to, to join your company on Shift Hub. Bill Robinson would then accept the invitation by simply clicking on to accept your invitation, click here, and that will take them to a login page where they will be prompted to create a password for themselves. Check the box, then click Update. And then just like that, they have connected to the system and they have created their own account with the dashboard and where they will be able to view their schedule. So back into the admin schedule now, or the admin account for this location. You can see now that Bill Robinson is connected. If I refresh the screen, under the status on the team page, Bill Robinson is now connected. If you ever need to resend any of the email invitations, you can simply by clicking resend. And if you ever need to add or remove job titles for a specific employee, you can do so by just clicking on the icon next to their job title. This will create a job drop down underneath it where you can create a new job title. You can enter a specific wage and save it. And if you want to remove any, just click the X. And then once your team list is complete, you can start scheduling.